This is in response to Minister Asata's post about menopause. It just pains me to no end that all these women are suffering and I, and I feel your pain. I felt some of the same symptoms. I mean, irritability, weight gain, not being able to think, vaginal dryness, uh, night sweats, uh, not being able to sleep. It is absolutely ridiculous that in 2023, we don't have more medical research to help women. And it's even more ridiculous than all these women are led to believe that we just have to suff suffer, suck it up and suffer, that there's nothing that can be done. And when you even ask the doctors, they're unsure of it. And they just tell you to change something in your lifestyle. Well, let me just say, hormones are extremely important. I'm just looking up, you know, different things about hormones and how, you know, they have a profound effect. There's chemical messengers throughout your body. They're involved in tons of different interactions. Um, they have a profound effect on your mental, your physical, and your emotional health, right? A major, they a major player in growth and repairing and appetite in your mood, right? So your body produces a certain amount. So as we age and we're losing, our hormone levels are going down, we should be able to do something to replace that. And a while ago, you know, we're in this medical system that caters to men, really doesn't do a lot of research for women. So I'm looking up on heart, public health, Harvard University. It talks about hormone replacement therapy, and it talks about um, that evidence accumulated since, so, so the data that came out that said, oh, don't give them hormone replacement. It could be, you know, a higher risk of cancer and all that. It says the evidence accumulated since this time of the report is outdated information, they say, suggests that the risk were not as alarming as they initially appeared. And that after the, after when we say, and the medical experts interviewed, it talks about the Department of Epidemiology, right? And for, they argue for healthy women who are under 60, who are experiencing symptoms to be able to take this, um, the rewards far outweigh the risk of what it does. And it says, Despite recent reassuring findings, many doctors remain reluctant to prescribe hormone replacement therapy, right? And this is the chief of the medical medicine at Birmingham and a woman's hospital, Birmingham Women's Hospital, right? And they say many clinicians also lack the training to help women to even assess their risks. So it is up to us to know our bodies, to understand that there's something out there. It can't be like, well, years ago, people just got, got through it and they had no problem. Just, you know, just suffer, just knock it out. We're talking about people that are experiencing these sy symptoms, not for a week, not flu-like symptoms for a week. Some people are in menopause for a decade or more, okay? It is crazy to me that we had to suffer and to be able to do that. And years ago, we didn't have so many hormone it's hormone disruptors in our in our in our environment in the things that we put on our skin in the chemicals in the air it's far worse now and our hormones are in far worse more of an attack now than they were decades before so we can't even go by what our mothers and our, what our grandmothers went through right we have to know what our body is and we have to be persistent and we have to when we talk to doctors and they dismiss us. Like I talked to one doctor, a gynecologist, and I, I was asking different questions. And she just looked at me and said, don't you think you're getting old? That's just what happens. <laughs> I left that doctor's office and I said, I am not unrealistic. I know that I'm getting old. I wanna do everything to help my body do what it normally, to do age gracefully and be productive and walk in purpose. So I left that doctor. I go to different doctors. I go to a holistic doctor. I talk to functional doctors. I've gotten estrogen. Um, not There's different types of estrogen. How would we even know this, right? So you have to investigate. So I went to a holistic doctor. There's different types of estrogen. I got one that's suited for my body along with pro progesterone. Is it covered by insurance to go to these doctors? No, because this is the system that we're, we're stuck in right now. Um, it, and I got my prescription through a compound pharmacy. Is insurance cover that? No, but that's what's healthy for my body. So, so a couple things. We have to know about our body. We have to know that there is things that we can do, and we have to be willing to pay for them. And I'm tired of hearing people say, well, this insurance doesn't cover it. I just can't do it. We need to invest in ourselves. More important, 
I'm sorry, then shoes, designer bags, whatever it is, we need to invest in ourselves. We need to say that, that, that taking the time to know what is important for us and be willing to spend the money. It's not fair. It's not right. We can work to improve the system, but we have to know we don't have to suffer and we shouldn't have to suffer. There's things that out there. We just have to be advocates for ourselves. Whew, this kept me up at night thinking about it. And I'm and so passionate about it. I'm working at change. So we should have a focus group <laughs> and we should sit together and talk about brainstorming some things that we can do. All right. Love you all. Bye.